Mouse, BBG, chapter 20, sentence 1. Here we go. All right, starts off with an ego, which I hope by now you know. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, which is I, and of course he gives you the verb here, I baptized. And instead of talking about that much, since you're just about to encounter it, I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, and we'll just take it as what Mount says, I baptize, and then you have humas. Uh, hopefully you recognize that as the accusative uh, form and second person plural, right? So I baptized you. And then here's the theological discussion is hudity because it's in, you know, what uh, Mounts would call the dative. But, uh, you know, you may or may not be up on the fact that that actually could be either dative, locative or instrumental. Um, the uh, either way, you know, what Mounts does is he puts it up to keywords with uh, to, in or with. Uh, I baptized you to water obviously isn't going to work, but uh, the debate is whether or not to take that as I baptize you in water or I baptize you with water. And of course, you may or may not recognize the theological significance there, uh, but this is a big subject of debate. Um, of course, uh, even before you take a look at this and say, well, you know, what, what, case am I looking at or what keyword do I use even before that it might you know be amazing to me if people would just take the time to study um, Judaism a little bit more uh, as if they had some concept of what's called the mikvah uh, it sure would solve a whole lot of theological problems um, and it's such an easy you know easy thing but anyway um, you know what I would tell you is if you're trying to figure that out what you have is in this next clause he draws a contrast and you have the same concept of being baptized and baptizing you uh, but and you still have this same you know case ending stuff going on but there you have a preposition so um, you know if it's I baptized you uh, and you're trying to figure out with the relationship to the water is uh, the water the instrument or is the water the location that you're baptized into? And you're trying to figure that out. Well, let's go with the next uh, clause and then but. And you have autos. Hopefully you get there as a, a he, of course, nominative, singular, masculine. And uh, but because, of course, you're going to pull that to the front because it's what's called post-positive. But uh, it's but because he's drawn a contrast. You know, I baptized you, something to do with water. But he, and then you have your main verb here. And hopefully you recognize that as a future. Um, you know, and hopefully you recognize that epsilon iota as third singular. But that sigma tells you that you're looking at a future. So he will baptize you, same group of people, uh, in, right? So then you have an N, so it's N, and N is typically a locative preposition, in other words, location, uh, in the Holy Spirit. So if there's some kind of a comparison and contrast going on, you know, it makes sense to me uh, to say, well, it, it's the, the concepts are parallel. It's like I baptize you in water, but he'll baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Uh, and again, you have the preposition to kind of lead you that direction in terms of the parallelism that he's drawing, you know, this contrast that he's drawing. So uh, beyond that, if uh, you spend any time looking up uh, what a mikvah is, um, you know, I, I think you'd certainly help yourself and, and that as well would uh, definitely lead you to, to conclude, conclude that it's location. I, uh, you know, I baptized you in water. Um, so uh, I baptize you in water, but he will baptize you in the Holy Spirit.